One, two. I know you like the way I pop out. Let's go hit Lenny's. Another week, another knockout. A different city. My partner will Today, we're going to do a basic beginner's workout on pads for Muay Thai. What we want to do in this session is to really refine our technique of the basic movements and strikes. So you'll just need a partner, a couple of pads, and a belly shield if you have one, but that's all you need. We're gonna go for 15 minutes. We're gonna do two minute rounds, and then we're gonna do one minute rest, and then go back on. So it's gonna work a little bit on your cardio as well, but the main focus is learning and getting down the right positions and technique for your basic strikes, like your jab cross and your rear kick and switch kicks. Okay, let's do it. All right, so first round, we're gonna be doing jab cross one, two. Rear kick and jab cross switch kick. And switch. So we're just going to switch between those two kicks. And the focus here is getting some long strikes with your punches and then just getting the right footwork to set up for your kicks. And pad holder has to be measuring the distance of your partner. So don't just stand there, move back in your first couple of strikes, and then also move back a little bit for the kick. And make sure you're breathing out with each strike because that will help you with your cardio and you don't gas out too quickly. Keep your hands up, keep your guard up. So make that a have it just having your hands up and pad holder you can just move around as well being a bit more dynamic for your partner and that will help with footwork as well so it is a pretty basic combo but it really connects the hands to the legs and make sure you're turning your shoulders in as you kick. So you're loading up that kick, swinging your whole leg around. It's like a coil. So you want to turn in before you unleash your kick and that way you have the most power. We're in a one minute break. Your turn. Next one is a um, push kick and push kick and rear kick. So, I don't need so to try to focus on your breathing if you're tired. 40 seconds. You can go for a quick drink. Yeah, that's it. And one minute break is up. Let's get back into it. We are now going to go through the next combo, which is teep with your lead leg and then rear kick. Rear roundhouse. Teep, rear roundhouse. Teep. Rear roundhouse. So with this one, depending on where your pad holder is, you might do a little stutter step to set up for that rear kick. So here we want to be accurate with the teeps, striking the belly shield with the balls of your feet. And the goal is not here to send your partner flying. It is just to get the movement correct and the balance as well. So you're not toppling over after your teep. So as you teep, you should be landing 
pretty much back into your boxing stance without falling too far forward. And that sets you up for your rear roundhouse. So here you want to also focus on turning your hips in with your roundhouse. And throwing your arm as you kick, generating more power. And try your best to keep your guard up as well and pad holder, try to resist your partner's teep. Don't send yourself flying, put a bit of resistance in there. All right, and okay. into another one minute it's break. It's still quite tiring. <laughs> We're going to go rear teep and lead and lead knee. <sighs> oh yeah. <laughs> so rear teep lead knee all right your one minute break is up your next round is going to be rear teep so your opposite side Sorry, and yeah. then lead knee so you're going to do a switch knee You can also step into your lead knee, but we're going to do a switch here. Nice. So rear teep and switch knee. Oh yeah. That was a bit low. <laughs> yep. Got to watch out for your partner's balls if they have any, <laughs> <laughs> or just the reproductive area. Your pad holder can also run into you while you're setting up for that knee. So you can be a yeah, bit quicker knees. with your strike. Yeah. Or you can be a little bit further away and that switch knee has to travel forward. Uh, nice stabbing teeps. And make sure you're breathing. Oh yeah. So be careful with those knees. You don't have to strike with full power. We're just trying to get the positions right after that teep. And remember with that teep, you're going to strike with the balls of your feet. Remember to breathe out with each strike and keep your guard up. And yeah, just moving around. All right, and we're into another one minute break. Cross hook, right kick. Cross hook, right kick. We're going to emphasize on the power. So make sure you're not rushing this and you're emphasizing on the power. Make sure your positions are right as well. So don't rush it.
and have a bit of fun with these combinations because we're just trying to learn the right foot positions as you're moving around and just the right technique for each strike. Take your time, you don't have to rush into the next combination as you finish. So get back to your stance, set up and make sure you're measured. So here we're going to emphasize a bit more on the power. And with your cross, you're going to take a little stutter step before you hit the pad. Make sure you're extending that cross. And with your hook, you want to make sure that you're coming around with your fist curled. So your fist actually hits the pads nicely instead of jarring your wrist. So each strike should give you a bit more momentum and drive for a bit more power. And you can slow this right down and set up properly. Try to stay nice and loose, long strikes. These are power strikes as well. So make sure the pad holder is holding the pads with a bit of resistance, like you're doing a push up for the kick and pushing down on the pads. And the round is over and we're into another one minute rest. All right, that's actually quite tiring. So if you're not too experienced in holding pads, this Last is going to be great for you because it's going to help you cross, get better at pads. Switch kick. And these are all basic strikes that are very usable when you get better in the future. All right, we're at the final round. And same thing, we're gonna emphasize power. Make sure you've got the right positions. And also, long strikes. So hook, cross, switch kick. Okay, your minute rest is up. Let's go for the final round. Hook, cross, switch kick. Less than a minute to go. Thirty seconds. Pick up the pace. Give me some power. 10 seconds. Let's go one more. One more. And that's it. 
Well done guys, that was quite a workout. And if you're new to this, just take your time. But you will get a workout in the end when we do some power and make sure you're moving around like you're simulating a sparring session. All right, catch you guys on the next one.